the space and flew up to the moon, she up on a rocket right behind. Okay, you notice her last name hard, right? Yeah. We ain't married. Let me change my name. Your Honor, she went and changed her last Maybe. name to Hart. Oh. The, the, oh. You get what I'm saying? That's when I knew something was wrong. Uh, That's oh. when I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to DBL. He lays down the law on his long-running hit courtroom TV show, and now he's ruling his family in their new E! Channel docuseries, Judge Mathis. Yes. Yes. I've been waiting to talk to you about this. I have a lot of questions, but first up, really important, you have spoken out about Kanye's controversial statements. We've talked about it on the show. He's currently losing billions. He's getting major backlash, but I'm interested in your take on the legal issue, especially the George Floyd family suing him for defamation for claiming that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose uh, for 250 million. What do you feel about that? Well, I think that they'll probably be successful yeah. because it's been determined legally that um, he died of strangulation. And I think with regard to the companies that are divesting and uh, uh, their contracts with him, I think they have that right based on the morals clause that all contracts typically have now with talent. So I think he's in a lot of trouble or he's going to lose a lot of money, put it that way. But that doesn't seem to be his motivation. And so there are other avenues. Uh, today, the good news is, or last evening, he apologized to the Jewish community for any that he may harm. Now we're just waiting on him to apologize to the black community. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Might be a while. Might be a minute. Yeah. yeah. Judge, I got to say, I love that jacket. Love, I kissing up to Thank a judge you. is never a bad thing, but I do like that <laughs> shade of color. <laughs> Congratulations on your 24th season. Why do you think the show has lasted so long? Because 24 seasons, that takes something special. Yeah. You just saw why. <laughs> we have a lot of trouble. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people watch television for escape. They don't watch stuff. They can go to their local courthouse and sit up there and watch some boring judge. Uh, they come to have fun with me, and the viewers watch because it's fun and, and informative. Uh, as you saw in that case, I just had a ball <laughs> laughing at that because it was funny. The, the girlfriend changed her name to the boyfriend's <laughs> last name without asking him. <laughs> he finds so much joy in it. Uh, Judge, you have to give me a second to stretch my legs here because I need to say this to you. Uh, this uh, past Saturday, I was in Chicago uh, performing. I was talking to my best friend in Miami. And uh, before we knew we were interviewing you, he said, who's the realest dude in television? And I said, Judge Mathis. And it, you need to understand how much of an impact you've had on the community and how much we see you and we appreciate oh, you, brother. Yeah. Uh, and it leads right into this yeah, question. Cool. Yeah. Honestly, man, you are you are a real one. Uh, one of your court cases inspired you to send a young man to college. How did you personally relate to this case and this human being? And can you give us an update on this young man? Yes, what occurred, as some might know, he came to my show. A young man had escaped the streets of um, Compton. His mother and father died of HIV, AIDS, based on um, uh, intravenous heroin use. Okay. He went and lived with his aunt, San Francisco, Oakland area, and uh, uncle or his aunt's husband was very uh, abusive and in court uh, admitted to throwing the young man's clothes out because he came in at 12. And I said, you should be mentoring this young man based on his circumstances. Uh, he's your nephew. He said, no, he's nothing to me. Oh, and I don't wow. want to see anything other than him to go to jail. Wow. And so I had an immediate uh, reaction that uh, kind of lambasted him, but it touched me. It was probably the most emotional case I've had in 24 years wow. and I told the young man that if he wanted to go to community college we send him and he came back two years later with his associate's degree ah, and is the minister oh, of the youth yeah, division of his church. Wow. Wow. Yes. Incredible. Yes. I mean, you walk the walk. We only have about 30 seconds left, but this is super important. Your son recently came out on your show, Mathis Family Matters. Was that a difficult moment for you as a father? And what do you hope to communicate to the audience? Yes, you know, they misinter many misinterpreted that scene because he had come out to us as a teenager. What he was telling me is that he had not 
allowed his friends and uh, colleagues to know. Mm. And that troubled me. And I asked why. He said, because it was to protect my career. And Aww. so it suggested to me he, su he denied himself for his dad. Wow. And that was very troubling. And I will continue always to be a member of the LBGTQ, supported and advocates, because I don't want any other child to experience that. Wow. You that really said, what a good said good. we need more of you. We 1,000% do. You. Thank you so much, Judge Mathis. As always, DBL Nation, you can watch yeah. new episodes of Judge Mathis weekdays. Check your local listings for when and where to tune in. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.